What's up, Earth Signs? What's up to Taurus, the Bull Gang, Virgo, Virgilicious, and Cap City, Capricorn? Uh, you guys, this is your August 2020 Silent Enemies reading. Uh, the uh, signs I will do individually, and they will be time-stamped. There will be an extended for each uh, sign in the Patreon membership. There will be a separate video for each sign. Uh, for, um, for efficiency purposes, I'm just putting all three of your signs in one video. Okay, so that saves on the uh, number of videos that I have to load up to uh, YouTube. Silent Enemies video. Silent Enemies readings are readings that um, encourage you to follow your intuitive nudge. Okay, that you get, especially about people who are closest to you, because they're the ones who have access to you. It's very important that you pay attention to the people who are around you and the intuitive nudges that you get about them. Because as we know, throughout history, certain things have occurred with certain people where they were betrayed by the people closest to them. Now, it doesn't have to be that serious, but the people closest to you are the ones who can put you in that predicament. Okay, and just because you have people around you, family members and friends that you call family members and friends, doesn't mean that they have their best interests, your best interests at heart. So it's just very important that when you get an intuitive nudge about somebody who makes you question, like, wait a minute, why am I feeling this way about my own brother? Uh, what you want to do is you want to investigate that intuitive nudge before just discarding it. If it's a false alarm, it's a false alarm. That's cool. That's good. But it's important that you investigate it because your intuitive nudges are there for a reason. They're not false alarms. What, what would happen is, if it's a, a, a good scenario, would be, okay, what's going on with my brother? I get a, a, a vibe about him. Your brother could just be going through some personal things and maybe he doesn't want to tell you. Okay? So you investigate further and find out, okay, he's going through something. He wants to be left alone. Okay, fine. That's a good scenario where your intuition went off. And it's like, okay, let me find out what's going on with him. Uh, a worst case scenario would be your brother is, you know, jealous of you, resentful and hateful and wants to see your downfall. Okay, so it could be either way. But the important part of this message is that you um, explore the intuitive nudge. You don't discard it. Because in a worst case scenario, you're putting yourself in jeopardy. Silent enemy could be anyone. It could be a family member, a friend, a loved one, a coworker, a colleague. It could be um, your babysitter. It could be your landlord. Anybody that you're dealing with on a regular basis where you feel like you're getting this weird vibe about them and you don't understand why. Okay? So that's what this is about. So we're going to start off with Taurus. Uh, and it is, what is it? 240? 250? Yeah, 250 for Taurus. So, Taurus, we have... The world card here, the first energy that comes up. This is energy of me for me. This is um, energy about time. It's energy about authority. Time, authority, something coming to an end. Uh, Saturn is all about, he is all about time. This is about travel as well. So um, this is showing up as a silent enemy because I feel like this is your energy that you have to be careful of, Taurus. There's a cycle that needs to be wrapped up that you need to wrap up. Okay, the universe, especially Saturn energy, is telling you it's time. And when Saturn is currently in retrograde right now, which means that the things that you did in the past, as far as your routines, your schedules, you know, um, things that you did on a regular basis, that now needs to change because we're in a time of change. Again, t uh, Saturn is father time, so he talks about timing. And when Saturn is in retrograde, you need to put away the things that you were doing in the past and now formulate new. Uh, routines, patterns that will accommodate what's going on in the here and now. If you have any questions about that, check out the Saturn uh, retrograde video that I did for Taurus in the uh, twenty the Taurus twenty twenty playlist. But I feel like you know there's something that needs to wrap up. I feel like you may be wanting to travel, but it's not a good time to travel. This is why it's showing up here because of what's every everything that's going on with COVID. It's not a good time for you to travel out of the state. Of where you are depending on where you are uh, here we're in New York so you can travel all throughout the state but you know if you leave the state you do have to understand that if you go to a COVID uh, uh, you know state where there's a lot of COVID going on and they have not gotten to a remission uh, uh, a remission point where their uh, COVID rates are going down and you know places are starting to open back up then you know you may have to be you may have to self-quarantine for a two-week period. 
So just keep that in mind with travel. I, I feel like for some of you, wherever you're trying to travel to is a COVID area, quote, high with COVID right now. Okay, so anywhere in the southern, the uh, western, southern western area of the United States and the southern area of the United States um, is, a, is not a good place to travel right now. But, you know, you're going to do what you will. Just be safe, okay? Take care of yourself. Be safe. But um, I feel like travel is showing up here as a silent enemy because it's not a good time for you to travel, okay? It's what the cards are saying. You know, do what you feel. So the next energy I have here is the Eight of Swords energy here. I feel like this is you in ignoring your intuition or you getting intuitive nudges about something, but you're not following up. It could be because maybe you're just not able to see it physically, you know, because you are Earth sign. So you're used, you're used to the 3D realm, things you can actually touch, things you can actually see. Um, but I feel like you need to tap into your intuitive energies here and you need to pay attention to the intuitive nudges that you're getting. Uh, you're not paying attention to them. Some of you, um, as a result of you not paying attention to them, you're putting yourself in a position where you feel like you're not able to move. But you are able to move if you just investigate where these nudges are coming from. Why are these swords here? You know, um, some of you know what it is. It's that monster on the other end that you don't really want to deal with. You know, or you're trying to put that monster in the hole. That's the thing here. You just don't know how. You're trying to figure it out. So for some of you, that's what you're dealing with. And that monster could be someone external to you, okay, where you know that something's up with them. If you got multiple intuitive nudges about it. Or it could just be you not following your intuition about something. But I feel like someone around you, you know someone around you, you know something is up. You feel that something's up with someone around you. And um, I feel like either you're afraid to act on it or you feel like you don't have any options. Or you're in disbelief about it is what I'm feeling here. But when we go to the extended, we're going to find out specifically what this Eight of Swords energy is. Because this could just be you. It, well, it is you. Um, but it could be you just imagining things or you ignoring what you're feeling. And you may think you're imagining things. But that's your intuition again. So yeah, we'll clarify that and extend it. The other card I have here is the High Priestess energy here. This is about your intuition. It's showing up in the Silent Enemies reading because you're not following your intuition. Some of you, um, this could be about a child's mother is what I'm feeling with the High Priestess energy. Okay. Um, for some of you, this could be about... Hmm. There's some type of secret that's going on that you may, this, these two cards can be related. There's a secret that you, you, you're feeling something, okay? And it could be that someone's keeping something from you. And that might be what's going on here, okay? It could be that about a child, I feel that strongly for you about a child not being yours or um, you being told something about a child, uh, we're going to clarify and extend it because I've been getting that also for Taurus for the last, what, two months I've been getting that. If you look at the tour, some of the Taurus readings I did over the last two months, I've been getting vibes of someone um, being told that a child is theirs and it's not. But there's some secrets here, some things that um, either you know the secrets and you're trying to hide them or trying to act as if you don't know them. Or someone's keeping something from you. It could be someone that you're dealing with. Someone close to you. A family member um, is keeping something from you. So we're going to find out what that is in the extended. I, I feel strongly about that. I feel someone's keeping a secret from you. I feel it could be about a child. Okay. Whether you're a Taurus man or woman. Um, we'll break it down the extended and find out what that is. But yeah, I feel like. Because the High Priestess is all about secrets. She's all about isolation. Maybe some of you want to uh, move and that's what's going on here. And you're just not sure how to do it. Or you're not sure when this COVID situation is going to let up. These could all be related. Or they could all be separate situations here. I'm getting that some of you are secretly trying to move. Or the person you're with is trying to move or wants to move person you're with could be pregnant 
and is not letting you know or is not telling you. Or could be saying that the child is yours when it's really not. It could also be some black magic going on or dark magic, one or the other. Dark magic is, you know, um, you doing magic for yourself, but you may be it's showing up as a silent enemy because you could be doing something you don't know what you're doing. For example, a lot of people will go on YouTube and find um, spells on YouTube that they don't know work, or they don't know that someone has actually successfully did it. So you could be doing dark magic, meaning you're, you're doing it on yourself. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad at all. Um, dark magic is not bad. Black magic is, is what's bad. Black magic is when you do magic on someone to take their will from them or to take something from them to hurt them or to harm them. But a lot of people don't do black magic. A lot of people do dark magic. But either way, whatever one you're doing here, I'm showing that if you're not following the instructions and you're not doing it correctly, that it could be something that hinders you. So you need to ask questions if you don't know what you're doing. I wouldn't follow anybody um, just giving out spells on YouTube because you could be opening up Pandora's box, you calling on spirits and not knowing what the hell you're doing, and you end up back, it ends up back, back, backfiring on you. So you need to be careful. So Taurus, that's what I got for you. Um, the extended is going to be in the link below. Feel free to come over and check that out. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next reading. The next uh, reading that I'm going to do is going to be for Virgo. Hey Virgo, it's D here with your Silent Enemy reading for August 2020. If you're new to this reading, please go to the very beginning of the video, watch the intro. It'll tell you uh, how to watch this video and what this video is about. Let's go ahead and get the cards out for Virgo. Three cards for Virgo, please. Okay, so there's one, two, and uh, this is the only reading where I don't read the cards in reverse. Um, well, the three main cards, when I clarify, I'll read the reverse and clarify. One more for Virgo. Thank you. So Virgo, what I got for you is the Five of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Six of Swords. So you're definitely in your head here, Virgo. Very analytical anyway. So the Five of Swords energy here and the Seven of Swords, I don't like this energy. We got five, six, and seven in a row here. Um, so this, could, this situation could be related here. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the cards here just in case they are. So we got five, six, and seven. So let's start with five. Five is about um, a strategy, okay, mental strategy. Uh, this is a, a you got to win at all costs. It could be for survival purposes. So there's somebody around you here who is um, looking at you as a rival in some sort of way, okay? It could be a friend that you're dealing with or it could be an ex-lover, Okay, somebody in your uh, camp, okay, your friends, your family, your loved ones, your co-workers, your colleagues, um, people that you deal with on a regular basis, you got to watch this person, all right, you definitely got to watch this person. Um, I feel as if this person is trying to win you over at any cost, whatever they have to do, okay, that's how they're coming at you. So you do need to be careful who you're dealing with. If you're getting intuitive nudges about someone or you already know that you're done with someone and you still have to deal with them for whatever reason, um, just follow that, that intuitive nudge. Make sure that this is not a situation that you get yourself caught up in. Um, for example, if this is an ex-lover that you have children with and you still have to deal with this person, just watch them because I feel like they, um, they're trying to one-up you in some way, shape, or form. Okay, so you definitely need to be on your P's and Q's and your intuition is telling you what's up. All right, so make sure you pay attention to that. But this could also just be you in your head too, Virgo, okay, overanalyzing shit. Definitely. All right, this could be you self-sabotaging yourself, overanalyzing. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get some rest. You're going to need to clear your head. You're going to need to meditate. That way you can decipher if this is just you overanalyzing shit or if there's something legitimately going on. Um, so this could be either way, okay? Um, hmm. Yeah. So I feel like this is a lover that you need to watch out for. A lover or ex-lover is what I'm feeling strongly here because this is Aquarius and Venus or Venus and Aquarius. 
Venus is about how you give love uh, or, or how, you, how you receive love, what you're attracted to in reference to love, what you attract for love. So you attracted somebody who things didn't work out and this person is trying to one-up you. The Six of Swords energy is um, energy of you trying to get mental peace after, after this. I feel like you're trying to leave a person or you left a person. Okay, and I feel like it's a lover for a lot of you, but it could be a business partner, it could be a friend, okay, it could be a situation where you and someone else um, parted ways. But I feel like um, the Six of Swords is showing up here as a silent enemy is because for some of you, this is about moving away, parting ways with someone, literally, figuratively moving, relocating. But then I also feel like, I also feel like there's a separate situation here with the Seven of Swords. Someone is, is up to something. You got to watch the people around you. If you have a known enemy or someone that you're really trying to get rid of, I feel like um, you moving away and not knowing, letting this person know where you live is the best thing for you with the Six of Swords energy. Moving away from this situation is the best thing for you or move, having them move out. Okay? But just know if you put them out, you know... <laughs> This is a real crazy energy here. You gotta you gotta watch this person. Cause they're up to no good. They're trying to they're trying to throw you off. They're trying to their strategy is to throw you off to get you comfortable, I feel like. Their strategy is to get you comfortable and relaxed so that they can do whatever it is they want to do. So for example, say you have a lover and you guys are fighting or what have you and you want this person out. It's already been, you know, spoken upon and addressed, but this person is scheming trying to get you to not stress and not worry so that they can stay where they are, okay? That's an example I have here. But I have, I feel this is a lot of a mental stress. I feel like you're trying to get away from it, but I feel like you have to take the initiative to move away from it. And I feel like you're not doing that. That's why this is showing up here as a Six of Swords for a Silent Enemy reading. The Seven of Swords energy um, is energy of another person, and this is of another person. I feel like this is you, but these two could very well be the same person. The you know just the steps that you're going through with this person, you went through, uh, you know whatever you guys went through, and you think that things are at peace right now, but I feel like they're not. I feel like this person is still scheming, and that you need to be careful. They're trying to throw you off, and the reason I say that, if you look at this card here, you see how. The monkey is has a face mask on the back of his head. A lot of animals won't attack you if they can see your um, face. But if they don't see your face, they'll just jump on your back. There are some animals that are like that. I believe the tiger is like that as well, which is why some people, when they walk through the jungles, they wear masks uh, in reverse on the back of their head because as long as they see, their, see your eyes, they won't jump on you uh, because they're predators, so they're going to catch you off guard. But if they see that you can see them then a lot of times they will just, you know, size you up and watch you type of thing. Um, but yeah, see, in both of these cards, we got that damn lion there, okay? So I feel like, um, I feel like you're the lion here. I do. I feel like you're the lion. I feel like in this case, you know, you tackled the, you, you are the, this person here, you tackled the cheetah. But the lion is watching you, okay? And I feel like this lion is up to no good here. They're trying to come and attack you with the Seven of Swords, but they they can't for whatever reason or they're, they're watching you. They're sizing you up trying to figure out how to get away with it. So you got to be careful definitely of the people around you, Virgo. All right, so I'm going to go into the extended and find out what's up, okay? We're definitely going to clarify all of this for you. The link in the extended is going to be in the box below. So hopefully I'll see you there, Virgo. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. Next up, we got Cap City, Capricorn. What's up, Cap City? Here to do your August 2020 Silent Enemies reading. There's going to be an extended. The link's in the box below. If this is your first time watching the Silent Enemies video, please go to the intro at the very beginning of the video so that you understand how to watch this video and the reason that this video is being posted. All right, and then come on back to the Capricorn version of it, and we're going to pick up from there. 
So I have the Two of Swords energy. I have the Six of Swords and I have the King of Pentacles. This Two of Swords energy, this is Saturn and Libra energy. Saturn's in retrograde right now. So what I'm getting here is um, the way that you normally go about making decisions or how you make decisions, the routines that you've been into. Like, I feel like that's got to change for you. Okay, this is why it's showing up as a silent enemy. This is about you. How you look at things, how you make decisions, the routines that you were into, um, you're going to have to uh, readjust that so that, you know, you don't put yourself in a situation where you're being taken advantage of. Okay, um, let's see. I feel like there's a decision that definitely has to be made. You're trying to be fair. You're trying to look at everybody else's... Uh, position in the situation sometimes that's good sometimes that's not i feel like that's not in your favor right now this is why it's coming up as a silent enemy in the silent enemy's reading you're trying to consider people who don't give a shit about you you're trying to consider people who don't have your best interest at heart you're trying to take their best interest into consideration before making a decision that has something to do with you so this could be a scenario where you're dealing with someone and you're afraid that this person if you tell this person how you really feel they're not going to deal with you anymore oh well Oh, well. You know, oh, well. Like, I would not jeopardize my happiness, my well-being, because you, you, you're you worried about what someone else thinks. You're worried about if this person's going to stick around or not. That's just a hypothetical situation. But this, to me, is what the Two of Swords is all about, making a decision and... and um, And considering everybody else, trying to be fair, trying to be right, trying to do what's best. Or there could be some information, some truth that's missing because swords are all about truth, thoughts. Um, so there could be some truth missing and maybe you're in between truths. Like, you know this to be true and you know this to be true. So based on those truths, you're trying to make a decision. But don't hang too long in that energy here is what I'm saying, is what I'm seeing as well. What I'm saying and what I'm seeing. So yeah, see there's two sides to the situation here with the... Um, two different people okay so there's you know you have to be in the middle here between these two all right and that's where you are you're in the middle but you're trying to decide on what's fair so you're split so this is one person who's split you know it could be you listening to your demon side or you listening to your angel side is what i'm feeling here so you need to look at the way that you you know made decisions in the past and make sure that you're not making decisions Based on the demon side, which gets you in the position where, you, you know, you people are taking advantage of you. Somebody around you, you need to be leery of. And your intuition is going off about that, Cap City. Alright. Or someone could be approaching you, okay? And you have to look at the situation. Is it going to benefit me to even get involved in this situation? I know what all the goodies that I can get out of this situation. But are the goodies going to benefit me in the long run? Is what I'm feeling here. So you you have to decide what's best for you. Okay. Right and wrong. You know morally. Is what I'm getting with this two of swords. With this six of swords energy. Oh sorry six of wands energy. Six of wands. Uh, I'm getting here that you're doing really well. You know you may have some haters. Okay. You're going to have some haters. You're doing really well. You're doing your thing. Just keep in mind that don't entertain those haters. Okay. Don't. Ignore them. Okay, it's best that you ignore them. You should be proud of your accomplishments. Yes, nothing wrong with that. But boasting and bragging, on the flip side of it, boasting and bragging is not going to do you any well. It's not going to do you good right now. You're just going to attract more negative energy. You're going to attract people who want to put you in a position where you're at dis-ease. So, be, you know, be humble is what I'm getting here. Be humble because you could be your own worst enemy. Be humble. Don't get too high on the horse or too high on the, t on, the, on the lion here. Oh, well, I tamed the lion. I'm sitting on top of the lion, so I'm the shit. And I'm going to let everybody know, like, that's going to be a downfall for you. The universe does not want you bragging right now, okay? Does not want you bragging. Celebrate your accomplishments in peace. You know, look at what you've been through. Look, look at what you've gone through. Celebrate the fact that you've gotten this far. But don't be boastful and don't don't brag. Don't do it. The universe will take away whatever you have. This king of pentacles energy here, I feel like this is an energy of stability. It's an energy of financial stability, um, 
planning for long-term uh, growth and investments. Uh, I feel like you're in a place right now where people are going to be attracted to you because of that. They see that you're financially stable, so you need to be careful of the people around you, you know, wanting to come and stay with you, wanting to come and borrow money, you know, wanting to be over your place all the time. Like, again, you have to do, you have to look at how you used to do things. And you may want to consider changing that up because the way that you did things got you into situations where you had to crawl your way out. Because something went wrong somewhere. And it was just a matter of you not following your intuition or you, you know, changing your habits and patterns. You know, you may be a person who, you know, you may have been single, you know, the majority of your life. You could have your friends come over. They could hang out, this and that and that and this. And now maybe you have children and you have a husband or you have a wife now. All right, so there's a third party in your home. So it's you and someone else now. And you can't party like you used to. Have your friends over, you know, drinking and hanging out or whatever you used to do. You can't do that anymore. So this is what this Saturn energy is about. Like you can't do the things you used to do anymore. Time is changing. All right, and if you need to watch the Saturn retrograde video for your sign, just go to the Cap City uh, playlist and look for Saturn and retrograde. Saturn and retrograde is all about putting away shit that you did at a different stage now life has changed for you so now you have to do things differently and I feel like you know um, your stability and your um, your stability and your long-term success and growth rely on the decisions that you make so number one don't be boastful celebrate what you have and what you've accomplished because you come a long way but at the same time you got to be careful the people who are around you who's coming around you for what they're looking at what you got and this is why you don't want to brag and boast this is why you don't want to be on social media. I got this. I'm doing this. I'm here. I'm that. This is why you don't want to do it because what you're doing is you're attracting people to you who see what you have and they're just coming at you for what you got because you're like, oh, I. it's like you have some people who will actually go online and say, oh, I hit the lottery for, for a million dollars or, oh, I hit the lottery for $12,000. People will actually go online and, and post that. Then they don't understand why they don't have any money left over, why everybody coming over to them asking for money, you know, why all this negative shit is happening to them. Because you have to be careful what you put out into the universe, right? So that's what I'm getting for you guys. So if you want, we're going to clarify this and find out a little bit more about this, find out what, why this is showing up as an enemy. Why is the king of pentacles showing up as an enemy unless the king of pentacles is bragging? with the six of wands energy bragging about what he has putting himself out there as an enemy this could also be somebody coming towards you as if they want something stable and committed but in reality they don't so this is showing up as a silent enemy's reading for a reason so you do want to be careful here somebody could be coming towards you acting as if they want a relationship but in reality they may not they could be with someone else they could have a children with someone else but we'll clarify that in the extended. So Cap City, this has been your Silent Enemies reading for August. The extended's in the box below. Let me know if this resonated. If you need a reading, reach out at 8 at gmail.com. See you in the extended.